Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today we're back at rebuilding the Dream SMP so without further ado, let's get into the video. Hold on. Before we get into the video, I just wanna tell you something. Do you know that there's a small percent of chance that if you scroll down and click that red button, over there, it's right there, you can actually turn it into a grey button. So go and try it out, and if you did it, congrats, have some free cookies. All jokes aside, subscribing actually helps the channel out a lot and I really appreciate it if you do so. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We're starting with Sapnip's house. Sapnip's house is located close to the community house, which we have already rebuilt in the previous video. His house is mostly oak logs and planks. And the wall is mostly glass, whereas the ceiling and floor are cobblestone. One thing about the original design that I want to remain in the rebuild was the shape of the house. I don't know how to describe it so here's a photo from above. Anyway, I really like the shape so I'm using it in the rebuild as well. So I'm not really sure if this is canonical or not but I've heard people talking about Sapnip having fire powers in the Dream SMP. So I decided to change the entire block palette of his house. In the original design, the block palette he used were oak and cobblestone. But for the rebuild, I decided to stick to a nether block palette. I mostly used blackstone for this build. I also replaced the clear glass with black stained glass for the windows. I feel like the new block palette fits his aesthetic a little more. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little proud of the new design. And finally, I switched out the cobblestone slabs for blackstone slabs for the roof. Next up, we have Nikki and Puffy's flower store. The design for it was pretty simple. Yes I know this picture is really pixelated but it was the only picture I could find. As you can see, similar to the community house, they also used bricks and stone bricks for the build. I really like that they added arcs to the window instead of leaving it in a square shape. For the rebuild, not only I'll be changing the block palette, but also the entire design of the build. First, I lined out the overall shape of the build with white concrete. And yes. Currently the shop will be hanging in the air but don't worry I'll fix that later. Anyway, I used stripped spruce logs as the pillar of the build. And then, I used white concrete for the walls. I am officially addicted to using a shaped roofs in all my builds. Don't question it. Also, this was actually my second attempt to build the roof. During my first attempt, I built the entire roof before realizing that the front roof and the back roof didn't match up. Great. Just great. Since it's a flower shop, I wanted the build to have a cottage core feeling to it. So, I used prismarine blocks for the roof as well. I think the prismarine block matches pretty nicely with the spruce blocks. What do you think? Then, 
I connected the front and back roofs together. I seldom used white concrete in my builds but for this build, I think it allows the roof to stand out more. I also think that the white concrete made the build looked cleaner since it didn't have any texture to it, unlike the roof. Then, I added some details. and the windows. I really like the way the windows look for this one. I replaced the floor with stripped oak log. Lastly, I did some terraforming so that the flower shop wouldn't be hanging in the air. I also did a similar thing for the nether portal which I've already rebuilt in the previous video. Yes I am shamelessly promoting my videos so you better click that. On to our final rebuild of this video, the courthouse. To be honest, I don't even know if anyone still remember this build, as it was also built during the early days of Dream SMP. As you can see, the courthouse is mostly stone bricks and spruce, while the floor is made out of quartz. For the rebuild, I wanted the courthouse to look more like the typical courthouse you see all the time. So I started by building the walls with smooth quartz block, and then I built two pillars on each side. Then, I built the roof. The front of it was just a simple triangle. Hold on. Why can I never get the roofs correct on my first try? Finally, I also added a frame using dark oak slabs. And then, I just copy and paste it until the end. I also added some details to the front and back wall.
I made three holes on both sides of the wall for the windows. And lastly, I replaced the grass blocks with polished diorite. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below what build do you want to see me rebuild next. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.